Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe and healthy through this whole quarantine process. I have some new beauty products to take your mind off of everything, because I mean, makeup makes everything better, right? <laughs> From Fenty Beauty, we have the new cream bronzer and the cream blush. So I have a couple other new products I wanna try out in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. You guys, before we get started in doing the application process, I just want to go over a couple products because they are new to the market and we want to see what the ingredients and the price points are. So let's start off with the Cream Bronzer by Fenty Beauty and I'll show the details right there. This product retails at $32. It comes in seven different shades. I did purchase the Teddy, which is number five, but in retrospect, I wish I would have done Honey Glaze and you'll see why I say that. This is a very beautiful yet buildable product. It is a light as air, non-greasy cream bronzer that effortlessly melts into the skin for a natural looking bronze or soft contour in a range of no fuss shades for all skin tones. The product is vegan and cruelty free. So they do offer the contour cool tone colors. I did not mention that as I was applying because I forgot that it does have the actual cool tone colors. The one I bought is more of like a bronze tone, but it was way too dark on my skin. It is recommended to use with her face shaping brush, number 125 for $34. I would recommend using her brushes because I do feel like the brush I used just wasn't applying it as well as I would have liked it to. All right, the next product is the Cream Blush, so I'll show the details right there. And that one comes in 10 different shades. It's $20. I did go with Strawberry Drip, but I also want to definitely try the Petal Poppin, which is more of like a soft baby pink. This is another product that is very buildable. It's $20, so it's not a bad price point. You've got about four stars going on there. This is a light as air, again, non-greasy cream blush that instantly melts into the skin for a wash of color and natural looking flush and 10 easy to use sheer shades. So I do feel like this product is extremely beautiful and buildable. And I just do really s love the finish, especially for summer, especially for mature skin. I think it's going to be very youthful for mature skin. And again, $20 is not a bad price point. So I am really excited to try these two products out. I also have the Patrick Ta like soap brow product and I'll show the details right there. I call it soap brow because to me that's what it is, but it's actually called a shaping wax. This comes in two different colors. I did get the clear because that was the only one available at the time during the Sephora VIB sale. This is an innovative defining wax that will maximize the shape of your brows. And it's basically doing what soap did, but it has some ingredients in there to actually help grow your, your, your eyebrows. So there's growth peptides in it that supports healthy new growth for your eyebrows. There's glycerin and olive oil. You will need some type of water, or I like to use the MAC Fix Plus Spray along with, and that's what he used in the video to demonstrate. And then you'll also need some type of spoolie. I'll show it right there. But I have so many of those, you guys, it was really hard for me to justify buying that as well. I am also gonna try out the Glossier uh, Eyebrow Brow Flick. I thought, you know what? I wanna try this out. I wanna see if it really works. And I actually do, you'll see. I, I like the way this product works. All right, you guys, let's get started. So I already applied my foundation because I don't have a Fenty foundation. I do eventually wanna try it, but I spent so much money on that Sephora haul. I was like, I can't afford to get everything. So, and I did wanna try the primer just because I'm always on the hunt for the best primer out there. And I actually do really like this one. It didn't really have a scent to it, which is nice. And it's supposed to be good for like humidity and sweat and all that stuff. So I'm really excited. This is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer in Soft Matte. So I know she has a different one, I think a more radiant one. So I might wanna try that one out too because I do have drier skin. Thankfully my skin is not dry right now. All right, so the point of this video was I really wanted to try the cream bronzers and the new Fenty Cream Cheek. Uh, cheeks out blush. I know these are really popular right now. She just launched these like about a month ago. So very thrilled to try that out. I'm also going to try out this uh, 
well, I've used her powders before, her setting powders before. I used the lavender one, but I've never tried the butter one. I just got the mini size because I have so many setting powders. I just wanted to try it out. And I did this all in my Sephora VIB haul, and you can check out that video. I just put that one out as well, and that one will show you all the good finds that I got, but I didn't do anything try on. So I did restock and I bought the powdered bronzer from Fenty, the uh, Caramel Cutie, the Sunstalker bronzers. I mentioned this in the other video. I wasn't really a fan of her bronzer in the past because I didn't feel like it showed up. Like I felt like I have to keep building it up and I think I just bought the wrong color. So I had Private Island, which is a beautiful color, but I think the Caramel Cutie was a much better choice for me. This is the travel size Caramel Cutie and I thought this was really cute since I travel a lot. Oh, and the little thingamajiggy fell out. I don't need that. But these are so cute. So it's like the little mini version of the bigger one I just showed you. And it's they're both Caramel Cutie. So I love it. I love, love, love. And this is, you know, could be kind of massive when you travel, especially if you have a lot of products like me that you travel with. So this is really, really cute, I thought. And I really wanted to try her bronzer sticks. So she launched these before she launched the cream bronzer. And this is Teddy. The problem with Teddy, I've already played with this one a little because I wanted to see how it was gonna work before I did it on camera. They are very buildable and I wish I would have gotten down a shade. So I didn't like the powdered bronzer because it was too light. So I went a little bit darker on the cream bronzer and I went too dark. And then this is her bronzer stick. And this came, I couldn't choose the color schemes. So I wanted the Caramel Cutie. So this one came with it. And I think this is cinnamon. I'll show it right there. This is just the travel size version. I want to see what this looks like on the skin. Oh, this is kind of like a iridescent color. That looks very iridescent. Uh, that is not something I would put on my, no, oh, I don't know about that, you guys. I don't think I would put that there. I don't want to mess up my makeup either. So maybe we won't be using this. I don't know what I'll be using this for. This might actually work as a good uh, eyeshadow. That would be pretty on the eyeshadow. You know what, we'll do that today. So I'm gonna take the butter. Okay, I'm just gonna go underneath the eye and just bake that area a little bit right there. I'm gonna start the nose contour a little bit. And I'm just gonna leave that under because I wanna see how this bakes. I've done it with the lavender one in the past, but I've never tried the butter one. So, all right, I'm just gonna leave a little bit right here and a little bit right there and a little bit on my forehead lines. I'm gonna get those Botoxed, you know what I'm saying? I've gotta de virginize my face and finally get Botox. I've never gotten Botox and I'm 42 years old. And I'm like so behind times because like all these girls that my, in my beauty community that are way younger than me have already done Botox. And I'm like, I haven't even done it yet. And I'm 42, I have to de virginize myself. I've been so scared to do it. All right, let's do the cream bronzer. Even though it's not the right color for me, and even though I felt like it looked muddy on my skin, I want to. I want you guys to see how it applies. So I'll deal with that. It's fine. We already know I need to do a different color. These are actually meant to lay over powder just fine. So I am not going on that powder area because that's the part that I just want light. So right here is where I want to bronze up. That does not have any powder on it yet. So you could, like I could have gone in with my Charlotte Tilbury and done that, but I'm actually just gonna try it without doing that tonight. I'm just gonna put some on my uh, It Cosmetics Heavenly brush. I am going to just make sure I take off any excess before I go in there. And then let's just go in. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, I don't know, you guys. See how, see, it just looks, I don't know. I'm gonna take my beauty blender with the foundation I was using and just kind of go over it a little bit. Just blend it in a little bit. I think this has coconut oil in it, if I remember right. And I do think a lot of people are allergic to coconut oil and so does the new Chanel one. It has coconut oil in it. Um, it's like one of the second ingredients in there. I do feel like 
that affects my skin and I did use this the other day so that could possibly lie I broke up there too so I don't know to me it's just not spectacular it's not something I'd go okay I can't wait to buy this product again I think there's too many other good ones right now out there than keeping something that I'm not like thrilled about so I'm just gonna kind of go light I just put it on the sponge So to me, this is accentuating those bumps. And see how I don't like how it applied with the, beauty, the blender, the makeup sponge. I don't like that. Yeah, don't like that at all. So the brush was better. So we'll go back in with the brush. Now she did use the, um, in the video, uh, Rihanna's makeup artist did use the cheeks out uh, brush that it comes with. So maybe it works better with those brushes too. Sometimes you have to buy the brushes to go with the product because I feel like there's a reason why they do it. Uh, yeah. I mean, the good part is it's not like crazy out there. Like it's a very buildable process, so you're not gonna get, I would definitely go in the back of your hand first though, just to, if you're going over like other products because I do feel like you can get yourself in trouble there. It's okay. I just don't really feel like it's amazing. Let's put some down here. I'm just kind of blend in that foundation. I don't know. And again, everybody's skin is different. I know people on YouTube that absolutely love this and I just personally don't like it on my skin. So this is a no for me. Sorry, Rihanna, that one just didn't work out for me. I still love her powdered uh, bronzer. The Sunstalker bronzers are beautiful. So I'm not, not completely, I mean, and I, I love this filter. This filter, I'm sorry, I love this primer is really good. So, and the, actually love the setting powder. The setting powder is beautiful. So, and I love the lavender one. So I had a feeling I'd like the butter one too. I don't know, you guys, I just, tell me what you think, but I, I'm not a fan of that at all. I like my Chanel one. The Chanel one is just gold, liquid gold to me. <laughs> it's the best. I'm gonna take my La Mer brush and just kind of set the rest of my face because I'm gonna go over with some of her powder bronzer too, so I wanna make sure it's not gonna smear. Always make sure to do that. Let's do the soap brow and then we'll do the cheeks out. So let's just play with this for a second. I'm just kind of curious how this works. Oops, I keep wanting to slide it out so you just pop it up. Cause it has this like little thing right here and I just want to slide it out for some reason but it actually just pops up. So with this product, what you're supposed to do is I would take like MAC Fix Plus Spray and then you would take like a brush like this. He has one, I just have so many like this, I didn't need another one. And what you do is you actually wet the soap a little, just do a little bit, don't do the like, don't drench the whole thing. Just do like whatever little spot you're gonna go in on. You have to get it wet, so that is important. And then you just take your spoolie and you just go in there and get it all soaked up, lubricate it. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna start combing up your brows like this. Like that. So because I have powder and foundation on them is why I'm just showing you guys the lesson I learned is that that is why there's white residue. And I'm not the first person to say there was white residue. A lot of people are saying that with the clear one. Everyone likes the darker one better. But what I learned is this process can work really nicely with the clear if you do your eyebrows first, which most makeup artists do that first. That's probably why he did that because he's probably like, well, whatever, I do my eyebrows first anyway. I'm just one of the few people, well, and there's sure there's a good percentage of people that like to do their brows afterwards. I don't like to do them first. And then you're supposed to take, sorry, I forgot to tell you guys, you're supposed to take this side of the brush, and he says to kind of, as I took my rest of my skin, mold it up like that. And it's supposed to flicker them. I mean, I did it better the other night. I do feel like it was better without doing my makeup first. 
but it's supposed to like comb them up like that. But see how my eyebrows are just not, they're so troubled. <laughs> I went a little too crazy with the tweezers, so they're very troubled. So I feel like this process does not work good on me because of that. So it's supposed to do that. I don't know. This to me, it's probably not something I would keep going back to. I mean, I could keep practicing with it, but honestly, I didn't really feel like, especially the clear one was good for me, for my brows. And then you're just supposed to comb them up like this. Like that. See, look at, they don't even stay for me. So that's why I'm like, what? I don't understand. I don't get it. When he does it on the Sephora website, I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. But I, again, I'm not really that into that look. Maybe his brush, there's like a trick to it, but this one has too many grooves in it, so it's not like, doing that trick that he did. Yeah, so that one is kind of gives you a better idea of what it's supposed to look like. That one did not cooperate with me. But then again, I have more hair, I think, on that side than I do on this side. So you're supposed to like comb it up like that. So that one kind of worked there too. See, so it's supposed to give like that soap brow effect. Again, I just don't have the eyebrows for it to look good. I don't personally care for it. And then look, see it messed up my makeup already. So I think that there's a rhyme to doing your brows first when you do products like this, because you don't want the rest of your foundation to suffer. Oops, that had the bronzer on it. Let's not do that. So I don't know, not my thing, but I wanted to show you on camera. This one was a no for me. I just, for me personally, it's just, I don't know, maybe I'm too old for it. I don't know, maybe I just need Patrick Ta to come do it for me and it will look spectacular. And maybe you have those kind of brows that are just editorial and beautiful. I just can't figure it out myself to be quite honest. So I'm just gonna go in and I'll clean up that part with the concealer, but I'm gonna go in, I'm trying to do it so you guys can see me. I'm gonna go in and just kind of pull it up. gonna kind of since we're doing kind of that brow look today I'm gonna try it this way I don't know I've never tried this pen so bear with me it's supposed to just make like hair like strokes especially since I don't I'm still growing in that front part of my brow from years ago when I took them all off and now I have to kind of deal with it and that's the problem because I never was able to really get my eyebrows done. I always did it myself because all of the waxing, I guess threading is the better one for me, but I just don't, I'm too cheap and I don't go get it done. Uh, I just do it myself, but what pro the problem was is I overplucked them. And then I'm just gonna kind of like, this is supposed to, the trick with this pen is you don't wanna put a lot of pressure because the minute you put pressure, the minute it's gonna look like you drew your eyebrows on. So you kinda of have to go super light handed and hold it at the very end. I think this is one of the better ones in my opinion. I know Milk just launched one with the triple, that looks like the triple. I, I used one before in the past like that from Walmart that I really liked, but Milk Cosmetics has one now too. So, I don't know, I'm gonna let that dry a little and then I'm gonna go on this side and do the same thing. And just really light strokes. And I'm gonna go back in with the spoolie on this side where it's already kind of dry. I wouldn't do, if it's still wet, I really wouldn't go back in there and use the spoolie right away because you're just gonna smear it. So you really kind of want it to dry down a little bit and then go in there with the spoolie and kind of. So it's just creating more of like a natural brow versus like a filled in brow. And I thought that that Glossomere pen would be good with this product because you're kind of creating, like see that one I went a little heavy on. That's okay, I can, get it out with the, I can smooth it out with the spoolie. You're creating that 
nice browed effect. This is literally my favorite spoolie, even more than my Benefit one on the Precisely My Brow. I like Precisely My Brow because I like the pointed part of this one more than this Arches and Halo, but Arches and Halo is $12.99, Benefit is what, 20 something dollars? So, you know, it's like half the price, but I'll try to show you guys. I mean, they're still pretty good precise. What I like about this Arches and Halo one is that it, is inexpensive and I love the color. The color they just nailed. And I'm gonna use this one today just because I'm using this fully. And I'm just gonna kinda fill in my other areas, the sparse areas. All right, so I'm going for more of that natural brow look today. I'm not going for a real carved out version of it, of my normal brows that I like to do. Later. 15 minutes later. I'm gonna try out this stick bronzer that came with the little travel size Caramel Cutie, which is supposed to be, I think, meant to like contour with, but I can't even imagine putting that on my contoured area, so we're not going to do that. I'm actually gonna use this as an eyeshadow. I don't know how this is gonna work. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that actually. Yeah, definitely take off your, don't put anything on your eyelids if you're gonna do this. Just do it on your bare lids and it will work even better. And it's okay, I'm gonna blend it out. So I'm just kind of depositing the color in there and then I'm gonna go in there and just blend it out with my finger. This is where your fingers come in good hand. This is pretty, if you're just for a summer natural look, like if you don't really wanna use eyeshadow and you just wanna do something, you know, kind of fun. And I like it. It's actually really pretty. You know what? Let's try something. Let's just get creative. Let's take that on this brush, that uh, Teddy, that cream bronzer I was using, and let's just go into the contour area and just kinda use it as like a shadow and see what we like. Ooh, that's pretty. See, it gives like a nice little contoured look like that. Yeah, see, there we go. Try this side. We're just gonna play around. Play with makeup, my favorite thing to do. So you can do that with any cream bronzer or even cream blush you can do that with and just kind of use it as like a shadow. It's pretty, I like that. It's really pretty. And then I'll go over it with my Caramel Cutie. Okay, now let's do the bronzer. So let's dust all this off before I do that. We're gonna take this milk. This came with that set of, with the brush I really like. And we're just gonna kind of blend that in. And now I'm gonna take my Tom Ford brush, bronzer brush. And we're gonna go in with the Caramel Cutie. So same one, I'm just not gonna use a travel size, I'm gonna use the big size. And we're going to bronze up the face now before I do the blush, and that will be the final thing. So let's just put this on right there, right there. See how beautiful that is? Like I have no problem with the powdered bronzer, but for some reason, that cream bronzer did not wanna go on my skin good. So I like that. See how beautiful that is? That is beautiful. That is a beautiful bronzed color. This is my absolute favorite out of her Sunstalker colors. I tried multiple ones on in store and that ended up being my favorite. Okay, and then we're gonna take that same one and I'm gonna take just a brush. Uh, this is the Sigma E35 and I'm just gonna dip that into the Sunstalker Caramel Cutie and now we're gonna go over that cream product and I'm just gonna go all over the, lap, the eyelid and see how that just gives it like that beautiful sun-kissed natural look for an eyeshadow, you wanna go over the cream. If you're gonna use a cream bronzer on your eyelids, you still have to set it down with the powder or it's gonna crease like crazy. A few moments later. The last thing we have of the new try-ons is the Cream Blush by Fenty. Super popular. Everybody, from what I gather, is loving this blush. 
Let's find out if I love it. <laughs> so I really liked the Honest Beauty. You can check out that last video I did. That is a phenomenal cream blush. That, sh that just changed my mind about cream blushes. Let's see if this one does. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Uh, let's use my brush that I used with the Honest Beauty, this Sigma Dual Fiber. Dual Fiber brushes are the best type of brushes where they have different fibers in the brush and it just gives it more of like a, just a more natural feel when it comes to like cream products. It's really good to use it with like cream bronzers too. So we're gonna dip that in. I know, it looks scary, trust me. I even like, am looking at it like, oh my gosh, how is this gonna go? <laughs> but I, from what I gather and what I've seen, they build slowly. So I'm just gonna kinda, yeah, see, look at that. That is beautiful. Okay, so much better than the cream bronzer in my opinion, wow. That's really pretty, I like that. So don't be deceived by how bright it is in the pan because they're not highly pigmented to where that's what it's gonna look like on the skin, obviously, because that is really pretty. All right, just a little bit there. So I'm seeing the muddiness and that's from the Teddy bronzer and that is annoying to me, but I have to just go with it for today. But yeah, that's where I wanted to show you guys on camera because I felt like it was only fair and I did buy the product. So I wanted to show you what it was like, but that is definitely not my favorite and it might just be the color. So grant you maybe a different color if I try, I'll like it. But that color does not go good with my skin tone. All right, so I'm just gonna try to cover it up as much as I can with the blush. See how well that went over my powder? That, I had no problems going over my powder with that. And typically with cream products, you have to do it and then set it. But then how do you do that with blush, right? It's nearly, you're not gonna get that same look. Wow, I'm gonna put a little bit on my eyelids a little bit. Put a little bit right here on my nose, like that. That's it, you guys. All right, I'm gonna pop my eyelashes on and my lip gloss and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I did my eyelashes off camera. I put some lip gloss and lipstick on, and all together, I like the look. My only downfall is the bronzer. It came off very muddy on my skin, as I mentioned a second ago, when I was applying the makeup. It's just not my favorite. Let's just go over the stuff that I liked and I would repurchase again, and the stuff that uh, I probably won't repurchase anymore. <laughs> so let's start off with the cream bronzer, since you guys already know this is just not for me. I don't know if this is what's breaking me out. I mean, I was able to kind of mask it a little bit with the blush, but I just, yeah, this, this one's a no for me. I, I have better cream bronzers that I like. That one I can do without. Is it? Uh, a product that I would recommend for people that don't wear a lot of makeup. Maybe are you just wearing like a BB cream in the summertime, you're not allergic to any type of ingredients in this product, then yes, that might be a really great buildable product. I think if I would have went lighter, it might've been okay, but I just, it's just not for me. I like my Chanel one way better. I'd rather pay a little bit more and have something that, like even though this is expensive, it's gonna, it, I've had this for an entire year and I've barely made a dent out of it and it's $50. Yes, this is like 20 something dollars, 25, 27 I think. But it's just to me, I'd rather just spend the extra 20 bucks, 30 bucks and just get something that I like and I know that is the same concept where it's buildable but it just leaves a much more beautiful radiant finish in my opinion. That's just my opinion, everyone's skin is different. So take whatever I say with a grain of salt, definitely give it a go. I mean, if this is something you've been putting your eyes on just know to go a little bit lighter because it does build so if you have skin tone like me I would go that one shade lighter I'll put it right here on the bottom that color is the color I was leaning towards and I wish I would have done that color instead but that's okay the next product is the cream blush and I'm just starting off with these two because that was mainly the reason why I wanted to do this video was because I wanted to try these products out I don't get free product in the mail yet <laughs> hopefully when my channel gets bigger so please remember to subscribe I will get more products and I 
I can try out more colors for you guys. It's just difficult because I can't go out and buy all the colors. So I really, really loved this one. I do want to get the petal popping one, but this one was very beautiful. I would definitely repurchase this again. I think it is gorgeous. I do want to do a little uh, test of my own to see which one lasts longer between the Honest Beauty and the Fenty Cream. I do feel like they are very, very similar uh, formulations, but the Honest one is cleaner. So this one I know won't break me out, where this one I'm not sure if it's going to. So we'll have to find out. But I do really, really love this and I'm excited to keep this one. So I wanna try other colors as well. As far as going back to the Sunstalker bronzers, I am definitely glad I did that. I think that this color, this is a good indication of I didn't like it that much when I tried the first original color I purchased, but now I like it with this color. So that might be something that could have been the problem with the cream bronzer, but the Caramel Cutie, oh my goodness, so beautiful. As far as Patrick Ta goes, this is something I will have to get used to. Do I hate it? No, I think it is a great concept. I think if you have eyebrow gels though, I mean, it's gonna do something very similar, but this is gonna be more like, it is gonna give you, I'll show a picture right there, that real editorial type brow, if you have the brows to begin with. I don't right now. My brows are just way over plucked and still growing back and not in a good position for something like this yet if my when when my eyebrows grow back and really get to a good place where they were in the past then i feel like this is going to be an excellent product would i recommend the clear over the brown if you are a like myself or you're a fake blonde <laughs> or you have darker hair, brown hair, I would definitely go with the brown one. The brown one was out of stock when the VIB sale, whenever I was trying to go on there, it was always out of stock. So I couldn't get the brown one. I had to go with the clear one. And I thought, you know, might as well try it clear. I mean, what's what's gonna go wrong with clear? <laughs> well, it, the problem is, is it does leave that residue. So that white powdery residue. Again, as I mentioned, as I was applying this product, I do feel like if you don't, if you do your eyebrows first and then do your makeup, you will not get that residue because I did not have that problem when I did. So if I were to use this again, I would definitely do my brows first and then do my makeup. And with the eyebrows, I definitely wanted to try out the new Glossier, like not new, but like the tattoo type felt type pen, which is easier for me to flick in there and just kind of create hairs. I do like this product. Again, it's just getting used to it and really practicing. And I think that's a lot with makeup is you have to practice. Practice makes perfect in anything we do in life. And I do feel like if you have very sparse brows like myself and you know, I'm still trying to grow in that front section, this is a good way to do it because sometimes these pencils are great in the beginning when they're nice and pointed and precise but as they go, you know, they get more rounded and they're not as precise where this comes in in really good handy. So anyway, that's it, you guys. Please comment below if there's any other makeup that you want to see me try on or if there's any other fashion ideas. I'm here for you. I'm your girl. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Give this video a huge thumbs up and I'll see you in the next. Thanks, guys. Bye. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead